Mike Wolf has properties in Tennessee and Iowa that are believed to be worth $5 million. The History Channel celebrities have discovered numerous streams of income, ranging from Jersey John's well-known antique repair company to Mike Wolf's vacation rental business. Mike Wolf, 59, has built an empire in real estate, antique shops, and other businesses. Since the show's 2010 debut, he has starred in American Pickers alongside Danielle Colby, 48, John Jersey John, Chalet, and most recently, his brother Robbie Wolf, following the firing of fan favorite Frank Fritz, 58. The U.S. Sun recently disclosed that the antique hunter has launched other ventures outside of the show, including retail and real estate. In his native Le Claire, Iowa, Mike established Antique Archaeology in 2000, where he offers Pickers memorabilia and his own antique discoveries. In 2011, he built a second antique store in his home city of Nashville, Tennessee. Mike, who has always been an enterprising person, founded Wolf's Village Bike in 1999 and taught bicycle history and safety there. His sister Beth is still listed as an agent for the company, indicating that it is still in operation. In that same year, Mike established MRW Properties, where he now purchases and renovates real estate. In addition, he has a real estate net worth of about $3,467,000. $300 and own several properties. With the founding of Mossy Point, INC, the television personality transitioned from front of the camera to behind the scenes employment. The terms of his divorce from Jody, his ex wife, exposed his cover enterprise. Mike is awarded the sole and exclusive right to any and all intellectual property owned or created prior to or during the marriage including all creative content, shows, scripts, pitches, ideas, and all other intellectual property or other material created by him and slash or MRDB properties, incorporated and slash or Mossy Point Productions, according to court documents that were exclusively obtained from a Tennessee court. Sole, exclusive and continued right to use his name, image, and likeness and all other names logos, or other intellectual property involving the show, American Pickers, River Raiders, and Untitled Jason Momo Project, and Slash or any other show created or contributed by him now or in the future, was another award given to the History Channel star. The Untitled Jason Momo Project may or may not be related to the Aquaman Stars Max series, but Mike did show up on the Rome in its inaugural season. In his spare time, Mike manages his numerous enterprises and makes real estate investments in addition to filming for American Pickers. The U.S. Sun is the only publication with exclusive access to his enormous real estate portfolio, which is estimated to be worth $5,089,900 and includes commercial buildings in Yowa and mansions in Tennessee. According to Williamson County Court documents, Mike, who is married to Jody and has an 11-year-old daughter named Charlie, purchased a $1,050,000 house in Lapers Fork, Tennessee, following their divorce in June 2020. There are three bedrooms and three bathrooms in the 3,153-square-foot house. In addition, there is a detached garage where the collector can keep his motorcycles, cars, and other vehicles. Mike bought a number of commercial properties in Columbia, Tennessee, a city 46 miles outside Nashville, according to a previous report from the U.S. Sun, in an effort to boost tourism and business in the small community. A single commercial property, measuring 4,320 square feet, and valued at $214,100, is shown in Maury County property records. Hazelwood Laboratories, whose business description states, Boutique Music Systems for Hospitality and Home is the tenant of the site. Additionally, Mike acquired ownership of a 2,900-square-foot, $192,700 building that Mule Town Coffee presently rents. 
The 4,653-square-foot Packard Playhouse is a business property that is utilized as a drama theater. It is valued at $336,300. In addition, Mike owns a $464,400 commercial property measuring 6,279 square feet, which he rents to Trek Bicycle Store Columbia. Two Lanes Guest House an upstairs flat that Mike rents out is included in the square footage. According to the U.S. Sun, Mike charges $275 a night on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and $200 per night on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. It costs $425 a night over the holidays, which include Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. The accommodations include a king-sized bedroom, a pull-out couch that can become a queen bed, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a laundry area. Mike himself selected the antiques that adorned the room. Records from Maury County show that Mike paid $400,000 in November 2017 to purchase the 1948-built Columbia Motor Alley, a former Chevrolet business, with a gigantic 13,440 square feet. The structure is estimated to be worth $717,400. The U.S. Sun was previously informed by a close source of Mike's that Mike Wolf purchased the building which was formerly used for auto restoration. In the garage area, he employs people to work on bicycles and other things. Here, Mike has his motorcycles and cars on display. He finds antiques, vehicles, bikes, and motorcycles on the show. Within the structure is a store selling shirts, caps, mugs, oil cans, and other items. In addition, vintage vehicles from Mike's collection are on show, including an Indian motorcycle, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and a black Ford Model A. The U.S. Sun was able to access property documents showing that on September 15, 2022, Mike also spent $600,000 on a 976-square-foot property. At the time, a source informed the U.S. Sun, it's going to be a restaurant. They want to offer pizza, drinks, and other similar items for sale. As of September 2014, Mike also owned a second business property in Nashville, Tennessee. The 3,604-square-foot, two-story commercial facility was formerly the home of the Slumerican flagship store, a tattoo and piercing parlor that closed. In September 2014, he also purchased a business in Franklin, Tennessee. In addition, Mike has purchased several homes in Leclerc, Bawa, the location of his birth, in 2004, the American Pickers star paid $180,000 for a 3,168-square-foot building. The house is a two-story duplex with a second-floor apartment. The shameless chocoholic occupies the first floor, together with two garages, a 1548-square-foot basement, and a wood-decked terrace in back. Mike bought the site next door in March 2013 after spending $115,000 on another business property in Leclerc in December 2010. The space is rented by 129 Coffee and Spirits. Mike spent $97,000 on another business property in Leclerc in September 2011, which he uses for antique archaeology. Letitia Klein, Mike's girlfriend, spent $110,000 on a piece of land in Kentucky that she converted into a coffee shop. Letitia, 45, is the owner of Ace Coffee Cafe, which will formally open on March 29 in Cave City, Kentucky, which is located around two hours south of Louisville. According to property records, Letitia paid $110,000 on July 16, 2021, for the business property. An image taken from the Barron County Court website displays the outside of the 1947 two-story structure. Letitia uploaded a picture of a spherical light with the handwritten phrase, Order Here in yellow on it to Instagram, giving her fans a glimpse inside the home. After that, Letitia shared a photo of the coffee counter with the remark, 
it's finally starting to look like a shop. It was a lot of fun to create and design this. The walls have polished brick tile and matching wood trim, and the counter is made of wood. In terms of the sitting area, there is a coffee table with books spread out and an antique brown leather couch or cozy yellow chair for patrons to relax on while sipping their coffee. I can't wait to sit right here with slash a great cup of coffee, she wrote as the photo's caption. While she showcases the great healthy choices, which include bars and granola, the coffee shop will also sell snacks. Cultivate, says Ace Coffee Cafe's Instagram bio, arrange, raise, teach, provide more than just coffee. Leticia is also the proprietor of the food and beverage firm Sucker Punch. Customers attacked John Chalet, often known as Jersey John, last year at his antique restoration business. Jersey over the years, John has made appearances in American Pickers programs. He just went shopping with Mike in New York City at Stephen Hecht's store, Hecht Sewing Machine and Motor, where he repairs sewing machines. According to the U.S. Sun, John's first national antique restoration business in Barnegat Township, New Jersey, received a mixed response from customers. A prospective client commented, I was just driving by and thought it was an antique shop on Google reviews. We were forcibly escorted out of the business since we were unaware that it was by appointment only. Extremely unkind individuals. In response, the owner said, We are a machinery-based restoration company. He went on to say, The property is clearly marked no trespassing on the front door, side door, on all the fences and driveway. John retaliated further, stating, You are clearly the impolite one to disregard our request to not be trespassing. We have been operating for 40 years providing top-notch restorations and will not put up with impolite people entering our workspace. The guy is never there and doesn't return phone calls to make an appointment, stated a second Google review. Another prospective client expressed dissatisfaction with the costs in writing, saying, I spoke with the business owner and asked him to look at a gate-leg table I have. He had already said that the beginning point of all of his restorations is $1,200. I informed him that I felt it was excessive to restore a table that was only worth a few hundred dollars for $1,200. I asked him if he would mind sharing some advice with us so we can fix the table on our own. I don't give teaching lessons or instructions on how to refinish furniture, was his response. He gave me the same response when I mentioned I would just like advice on what products to use on the table. The U.S. Sun asked First National Antique Restoration for a comment. The company did not reply right away. However, John's work seems to speak for itself because many have complimented him on his skillful repairs. I brought a centuries-old paint-covered chair to National Antique Restoration, a customer wrote. It was discovered in a Manhattan basement by my dad at least 40 years ago. I've never seen it in its true form. The chair's refinishing turned out flawlessly, revealing every last feature that was absent before. I am so grateful to National Antique Restoration for returning my exquisite chair to me. John is just remarkable. John at Pristine, thank you, thank you, thank you, exclaimed the second. The dining room furniture owned by my nana and pop-up has been expertly refurbished by you. Every project you have completed for us has been well worth the investment, but this one truly exceeded our expectations. Without a doubt, I would do again. On social media and in movies, John frequently flaunts his restoration endeavors with Mike and his brother Robbie. Robbie Wolf is the owner of a gorgeous antique store in Yoa with neon signs, vintage autos, and other trinkets. On American Pickers, Robbie took the position of Frank Fritz, a fan favorite, due to outcry against the casting decision from devoted followers. According to the U.S. Sun, Frank's replacement paid $200,000 in March 2021 for a commercial real estate structure in Davenport, Iowa. The structure had renovations that included $900 for plumbing and electrical and $24,000, $755 for a new roof. 
When he purchased the building, the TV personality posted on Instagram, saying, I love this building's history. Constructed as an automobile building in Davenport's downtown in 1939, it will endure. Beautiful antiques and vintage items can be found in Robbie's store. He frequently shares his finds on Instagram for potential buyers to purchase. One of his favorite things to collect is vintage signs, which he frequently displays. He shared on Instagram that a neon sign that says Jesus saves in the form of a cross is one of his favorite signs. A consumer was informed by Robbie that he was asking $7,500 for the sign. The store also has ancient oil cans, clocks, cast irons, and other antiquities. Along with motorbikes and vehicles, he also has a 1931 Chrysler and an old black cab from New York City both inside and outside the store.